Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, May 15th, and we're doing a kiln opening. Um, there's glazed pieces in this one. Uh, I got some new glazes yesterday morning, first thing, so um, there's some new glazes in here. I'm excited to see what they look like. Um, <clears throat> some butter dishes, um, cups, spoon rests. Um, yeah, but everything that comes out of here today is going to be for sale. So I'm excited to see what all these look like. And I've got my little helper here. Um, Hi. She's going to be <laughs> setting mm -hmm. stuff over there for me as I pull them out. Okay. Sweet. So uh, spoon rests are on the top because I have a half shelf. Let me see if I can. Yeah, there you go. A little bit anyway. I have a half shelf here. So this is speckled plum. Oh, let me turn my light on. It might help. A little bit. Let me change the color. That one? No worries. Uh, speckled plum. That's pretty. I like that a lot. My little stamp. You like that? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, and the kiln is at 111 degrees. I was patient. <laughs> I wanted to open it earlier because I've been out here all day. Um, this one is smoke. I couldn't remember. Um, I just dipped this in smoke. I think I should have dipped it a little bit longer. I think I did like a one second dip. And I think a three second dip looks better than the smoke. But it's still pretty. It's still pretty. Mm -hmm. And another one. So this is winter wood as the base with copper float um, over that. These are both dips. Um, that one looks cool. I like that. That one's actually already sold. But. <clears throat> and then maybe this one is... Oh no, this is um, copper float first and then dipped in smoke second. And it, it's nice. I like that a lot. I'm going to be doing um, a set of six bowls in this combination. Looks really good. If you keep getting in the chair, you just got to keep getting back down. Oh. In the chair. Well, I've got a runner. That is going to be fun to clean off. Okay. Oh, it came out. Well, that's damaged. Oh. Darn it. So, less coats <laughs> of this one. Uh, this was a new glaze. Um, gosh, what's it? Gunmetal Green from Coyote. It's a really pretty glaze. No, wait, is that Gunmetal Green? Yes. Yes, Gunmetal Green. Uh, yeah, that didn't do so good. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's so pretty. That's so sad. <gasps> I don't know if, I don't think I can salvage that at all. That's pretty, like, part of the Are you gonna uh, ruin it? clay. Yeah, I don't think I can use that. I mean, look at the, pretty though. It's so sad. And these take forever to make. <laughs> I'm gonna not let you touch them. It has glass. Uh, and it's all over that shelf, so I get to grind my shelf. Um, I also did it on, I think, crap. I can't tell. <laughs> Because I had two different glazes. I got um, Speckled Toad. I have to go back and look at everything. Speckled Toad and Gunmetal Green. This might be Speckled Toad, which is so cute. I can see the little um, flex in there. That's a pretty one. I like that one. So here is, I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, Gunmetal Green. So the lid turned out okay. I don't think I can salvage that. We're gonna try, but it may just be one that we use at home. <laughs> um, Cause that, it, that one drips. It may not even fit in there with that drip on it. Oh, well it does, but that may be a loss. That's okay, it's the name of the game. Okay, so last time I did, um, so I bought white gloss uh, dipping glaze from Mako. 
I had never used it before. I had, was under the assumption that all white glosses were alike and that's because I'm new. So um, it gave me a fit. It had crawling on the first piece that I dipped it in. Um, so everything else that I dipped in it, I washed it off cause I didn't want that to ruin it. So I bought a hydrometer and I measured the gravity of that glaze and it needed a lot of water. So I added the water and I dipped it for one second versus the three seconds that I dipped it before. So, um, it's better for sure. Still not like perfect, which it's pottery, you know, but it, it's not bad. That's, it's all right. I can handle that. Here you go. So maybe like a two second dip would be better because this seems a little bit thin. You can still see the clay color through it. So maybe now that I've got the gravity right, a two second dip would work. Except there's a tiny bit of crawling right there where it got too thick, I guess. Oh, man, I don't know. I'm not happy <laughs> with the white gloss from makeup. We'll keep trying them. Um, so this is <clears throat> dipped in a copper float first and then dipped in smoke over the copper float. That's really cool. That's pretty. It kind of hid some of the texture because I do slip trailing on all these. Um, but that's okay. It's still there. You just can't see it too well. But the color is beautiful. Looks good. Are you going to set that down? The lid doesn't fit on it doesn't it's not supposed to no that one goes over it like that okay uh this one also slip trailed uh with tour uh, tourmaline tourmaline however you pronounce that over it and maybe I should have done just three coats so when i brush things on i've i tend to do four coats because three sometimes doesn't seem like enough so i usually do four but i think on this one three maybe would have been better to um not bury so much of that texture because this is also slip trailed and that takes forever to do but that's a pretty cup you like that one mm -hmm. it's beautiful and then here's a spoon rest just in the white and uh these are a little bit gritty because i had to use um white stoneware with grog they were out of the no grog stuff so these are a lot not like super smooth like i like i finally have some new glaze or i mean new clay but okay so it looks like we got to a cone six this time i have fired it the same way that i have fired everything else and it looks like it got hotter i think i got to a full cone six that time I want to put it in here. that no 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 Okay, I gotta get this shelf out without cutting myself because there's um, glass. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that. You yeah, ruined it, shelf. Mama. You yeah, ruined mm -hmm. it. I know. <laughs> it's alright. It's fixable though. That's the thing. It's fixable. Mama, can I open all? Can I pull one out? Um, let me make sure they're not too warm. They're a little bit warm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll be okay. I like that. All right, they're fine. I can touch it. Go ahead, do that one right there. This yeah, the pink one. It's pink-ish. Ah! <laughs> okay, this looks cute. So my plan was, this is, um, here, you go over there. This is uh, Stroke & Coat Cashew Later. And <laughs> I just thought it was a really nice, nudey, pink color and I planned on putting um mother of pearl over it but again it hid some of the texture which some glazes work really good on texture and some don't but I know stroke and coat wasn't going to but still that's still cute I'm like I like it I like the size of this one okay. it is cute Mom. it is cute thank you oh this one's a little bit warm I may have to set this one down okay so I really love this speckled plum. That is so pretty. I love it. That is beautiful. I'm very happy with that. That is a nice cup. It's a little warm. You all right? 
you're fine. I'm overprotective. So again, dipped in Mako white gloss, which it's okay. There's nothing like wrong with it. It's just not as shiny and like I would like. Like the pieces that got like maybe a drip down it, so maybe like a two second look better so yeah I think I'm gonna graduate to two second dip now that I have the gravity correct which I will check every time I use it but um it's all right it's not bad it's just not shiny like I want somebody will like it so some of these ugh, I get to grind the bottom shelf too okay so this is speckled toad mm. <sighs> this one will be fine I can fix this one Speckled Toad is a very pretty glaze. This is a butter dish. Maybe it just, I didn't know it was drippy and I should have researched and, oh, it's not gonna fit now. Cause of the glaze dripped. Yeah, maybe. You're gonna have to destroy it. I'm gonna have to destroy it. Oh, no, it fit that way. What? Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. I'm gonna do this one because it's, it's, it's it has some no, sharp Mama, spots. I'm doing butter dishes on this oh, side. I'm sorry. It's fine. Another cut that run ran. Again, I can fix this one because it was just the foot, the foot ring that Mama. messed up. I know. It's new glazes. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying. Wait, ruining them. I sound like I'm trying to. This is that gunmetal green, which is a super. Stop it. A super pretty glaze. I think I can fix that one. It'll take some work, but yeah, I knew it was a possibility. No. Okay. Um, some test tiles. So I bought Perry Twinkle Stroke and Coat. Yeah, it covers up texture too, like I thought it would. I have a plan for that. So I dipped uh, the white gloss and that one actually looks good. <laughs> All right, the speckled plum and speckled toad or wait, there's two. Okay, yeah, speckled toad test tile, gunmetal green test tile. So what I did on these is it's two, three, and four coats. Um, it honestly looks about the same. Two, I think two coats would probably be enough of that. Anyway, those look good. I know. And I ran out of cone four cones. So we got a five and a six here on the bottom, which it didn't get as hot on the bottom shelf. So, <laughs> It's always a trial and error, but I get to grind this bottom shelf too because it ran. Mm. <laughs> so there will be no chance of me putting some stuff in for bisque night. I have um, all these things on the shelf here. Go back over there, please. Mm. Uh, that I was gonna bisque, but unless I can get these shelves grind ground off, that won't happen. But we live and we learn. Till the next time.